Hey everybody, this is D Wide Hand here, and today we're opening up something I found that's pretty rad. It's a Pokemon Mystery Power Box. It contains, let's see, it contains five random booster packs from any set and two coins. But the, the really cool thing is, there's a there's a random there's a random vintage mystery pack in one in fifty boxes. Not only that, there's there's a randomly inserted first edition pack from any set. So I could get some crazy shit here. I, I could get some shit from the original like red, blue, red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, crystal sets. That would be pretty cool. And like the jungle sets and the and the uh, and the fossil sets and shit. That'd be badass. Ugh, they must have just stocked these too, because I've never seen these before. Ugh. Ugh. They're like, like everything else though, that's cool, it's like Fort Knox to get into. I hope I don't smash anything. What if it comes with anything else? Like, I don't know, I, I doubt it's, for some reason I, I'm, I'm doubting that it's just like five packs of cards and a couple uh, couple coins. It seems heavier than that. There might be some, I don't know, there might be, there might be some promo stuff inside it. But we'll see. Ooh, it's got an island, it's not, it's not a fucking box. I'm, 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 I don't really want to rip this box up, it's pretty, pretty cool. I don't know. Ugh. Uh, pop the top. I'm, I'm not gonna really. Uh, I'm not gonna really look. First off, I'm gonna shake out the coins. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look at those. Where's that coin at? Well, there's one coin. <laughs> ooh, looks like. Ooh, there's the other coin. Oh, uh, that's funny. The two coins I got. Two shiny Pikachu coins, and just for what er, early one of the earlier episodes in my channel, I was complaining about not getting enough Pikachu coins. I mean, not really complaining. I'm just saying that I don't I don't really get a, I don't really buy a whole lot of Pikachu coins because, to be honest, I think Pikachu is kind of overbearing. Dumbass rat! Whoa, this one's all scratched the shit up. What about this one? Yeah, that one's intact. This one's all scratched up though. That's pretty weird, huh? Yeah, the two coins, two Pikachu coins, and I'm not I'm not really gonna look at the uh, the packs. I'm just gonna grab a pack off the top and just look at what I get. Ooh, I got a black and white pack from Legendary Treasures. Is it first edition? It doesn't look like it's first edition. It could be first edition. I have no idea. Let's open up and find out. But Legendary Treasures, uh, actually, actually, Legendary Treasures is one of my favorite sets because they have a lot of really cool, uh, really cool set, really cool uh, artwork. Like a really, like, like you're you're guaranteed to get something sparkly and shiny and cutesy in these sets. And there's a TCG Online set you can, or a code rather you can use. Enjoy. One, two, three. One, two. All right. First off, we got a Oshawott. Cute. We got a Trubbish. Oh, look at that. That Trubbish is cool. Trubbish is one of my favorite Pokemon. I like. I really like it. It's a. Uh, it's. People are like, oh my god, it's just literally a pile of trash. That's so unimaginative. No, you don't understand. It's a. It's. It's a reverse Totoro. Totoro was a nature spirit. Trubbish and Garbodor are trash spirits. It's ingenious. It's like, he's such a cool Pokemon. Like, if, if Pokemon were real, I'd definitely have a Trebush and a, a Trebush and a Garbota. Like, they're so cool. Good pile. Definitely. Next. <laughs> Temple. Pretty cool. I like, uh, I like Seismitoad. Se Seismitoad's pretty cool. A lot of people don't like him. Again, I like him. Ooh, whoa, look at that Zora artwork. That's really cool. I actually really like that Zora artwork. Oh, put that in the good pile. Ooh, we got a ooh, we got a reverse hollow uh, Servine. Kind of adjust that a little bit. Really like that artwork too. That's really good. Awesome. Ooh, is that a ooh? Whoa, we got a really like. I don't know if you can see that. Like stars and sparkles and shit. That's really cool. Is that a rare? No, it's a. Wait, how in the hell is an Ursaring a common? Oh wait, wait, oh, wait. oh. Are you kidding me? That's what those were? Oh, so the sparkly ones in the uh, the sparkly ones in the legendary treasure sets that I like so much are also are also from like the uh, the um, 
the Radiant Collection. Okay. So, so I like I really like Radiant Collection set cards. Okay, that's pretty cool. Try to get some more shine going. Can you see that? Can you see that? Pretty cool. And we got double colorless energy. Actually, I really need some of these. Uh, I, I only use colorless energy unless like the card specifically tells me to use a colored energy. But yeah, I only use colorless energy because they're easy and I, got, I have tons of these double colorless ones so I can get energy out there really quick. Pretty cool. Put it over there. Is that another radiant one? No, it's a uh, Emolga. Very triumphant looking Emolga. Looking like Batman, kinda. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. And, woo. Whoa, we got a. What the hell? We got a really radiant ass looking Pikachu. Is that a rare? Is that the rare? That's uncommon. Still, look at that. That's insane. Look at that. It's crazy looking. Finally. We got. Whoa! Is that a. Holographic? No, it's just a really crazy looking Toxicroak. That's the rare in this one. That's really cool. Definitely good pile. There's gonna be a lot of good piles. Like if, if I ever do any uh if I ever do any um if I ever do any like if I ever do any more legendary treasure sets, a lot of them are gonna go into the good pile, because like I said, it's one of my favorite sets, and there's gonna be a lot of like cards that might, might not be rare, but I just think they look cool. Ooh, and the other card I just randomly picked off the stack is a breakthrough set. Pretty rad. There's supposed to be a randomly inserted uh, first edition set in here somewhere. And I'm curious to see what it was. Oh, uh, spoiler alert, there's a pan sham in that one. <laughs> Here's the online code. One, two, three. One, two. Switch around. The Pan Cham that you already seen, fam. And you'll never hear me use, use the word fam again. <laughs> There's Meowth, starving and drown, starving and drowning, starving and uh, going and dying of thirst in the desert. Ugh. Despite the fact there's no oasis. Get a Sand Shrew, Sand Shrewing about. <laughs> we got a Ooh, That's a really cool. Oh, that's a really cute looking uh, Swinub. It's surrounded by fluffy pillows. I really like that artwork. Good pile. We got a, uh, we got a very mysterious look, like a Paris in a very mysterious locale. Where is this? I'm curious to know where this is. Very suspicious. Ooh, we got Go-Go going, Go-Go going full, like, fucking force on somebody. It's crazy. It's a pretty cool card. We got Town and Map. Pretty rad. Whoa! Is that, is that a, is that a holographic? No, it's our rare, I believe. No, it's an uncommon. No, oh, I, I really like uh, B -E BHM and uh, Elegem. They're aliens. Like, what's not to like about them? I love alien Pokemon. So cool. Mind Bullet, Side Beam, good pile. And, ooh, I believe this is the rare. Yes, it is. Another one of my favorite Pokemon, Vanillux. Pretty badass. So, uh, Vanillux is so cool. Look at him. Like. How can you like Magnemite, a floating pile of magnets, and not think a floating pile of ice cream is hilarious? That's that's a whole. That's, it's, it's cute. It's funny, and it's actually pretty pretty strong in my opinion. I use one. Awesome. And the reverse, the reverse hollow, rare Chatot, pretty badass. Actually, getting a pretty sizable good pile on this one going. And another one off the top, another random one. Say, oh, another another legendary treasures one. It's not first edition, as far as I know, so it leads me to wonder what the first edition one really is. And I'm actually really happy to get a legendary treasures one again. I really, like I said, really enjoy that set. There's a online code for you. One, two, three, one, two. I don't even know if they. I don't know if these work for these these sets either. There's a. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Uh, Gathita at the musical. Pretty rad. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Carl. Uh, there's a Tangela. Pretty cool. That's a really round looking Tangela. Hmm. Pretty cool. We got a boy and his Tepig. Pretty cool. Got a Vulpix. Not an Alolan one though. Still pretty cool. Got what? Another boy and his Tepig, but it's reverse hollow. Huh. Pretty cool. Good pop. 
We got a Teddy Ursa, Teddy Ursa, and at first I thought its hand was on fire, like it was using fire punch, but it's actually just getting honey. That's pretty cool. Whoa, wait, I saw something. Is that, is that one of those sparkly radiant collection ones? Let me see. Yes, it is. Can you see that? That's a good, well, that's a good pile then. That's awesome. Whoa, we got a really creepy looking carnivine. Is that radiant collection too? No? It's usually cutesy Pokemon that are radiant collection. That's a scary Vart carnivine. Oh my god. That's horrifying. I'm putting that in the good pile on the grounds of how terrifying it is. We got a Servine. Pretty cool. Whoa! Oh my god. We got a Radiant Collection uh, Gardevoir. That is really badass. Look at that. That is elegant as hell. And then, finally, we got our, is that a Radiant Collection uh, Reuniclus? No. Still, it's a really badass looking re Reuniclus. I really like Reuniclus too. If it gets, if, I don't know. Like, I've heard people like doing like theories. Oh, well, not really theories. They did speculation videos about a, a, a non Kanto Alolan Pokemon. And they did like Alolan, uh, Alolan, Alolan, um, God damn it, <laughs> Alolan, Alolan Reuniclus. I don't know why I couldn't say it. But it was like water type. It was a pretty interesting concept. And, wait. Oh. Oh, okay. And here's another pack. I, I thought I thought this was the last pack for a second. I was like, wait a second. This doesn't make any sense. This is an X and Y pack. And it doesn't seem like it's a, uh, it doesn't seem like it's a first edition. Because it would say first edition on it. I'm guessing, I'll show you in a second as soon as I finish this one. But I'm guessing the, uh, I didn't notice, I didn't notice that this didn't pop out. So the Ancient Origins set is actually... Is that Ancient Origins? I'm pretty sure. But that said, it's actually the, uh, the that, that card is actually the first edition in here. That's pretty cool. I think it is, anyway. None of these other ones have been first editions as far as I know. I mean, I can check. No? No first edition. Code for you. One, two, three. One, two. Flipperoo. We got a Pikachu. What'd it do? We got a Spritzy. Looking all Plague Doctory. We got a Venipede. Venipede's pretty cool. So is Sculpede. Sculpede's badass. We got a Skiddo. Yo. We got a Zora. What's up, dog? Or Fox? We got a Illumise. Pretty cool. We got a Super Potion. We got a Herdaria. Pretty cool. <laughs> we got a Doug Trio. That's probably the rare one, isn't it? Yeah. Doug Trio. Pretty cool. And finally. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! A reverse hollow uh, rare Aegislash. Let me look at let me take a good look at this bad boy. Look at that thing. Aegislash is cool. It's over it's like it's really it's powerful as hell. But it's pretty it's like one of my favorite uh, Pokemon. Bus Buster Swing, 120 damage. It's pretty cool. Look at that thing. Look at that. Aegislash. No, let me, uh, let me just order these up a little bit, get these out of the way, put the good pile over here, put all the trash away, and try to get this, see it's in that, it's in that section right there, so I'm assuming, I'm assuming the first one in the, uh, I'm, assuming the I'm assuming the first one in the box is the first edition one. Is this the first edition? Or is it, or is it not a guaranteed first edition in every box? I, I'm not sure, Are, were any of those first edition? I, I didn't see any first edition stuff. Hell? No? Uh, nothing, nothing there? I don't know, I'll have to double check. But this might be the first edition. Let's check it out. Oh no, it's Primal Clash, not Ancient Origin. Origin, but uh, it's Primal Clash. Open it up. I said let's open it up, not rip it up. There we go. Code for you. One, two, three. One, two. Let's go do. Got a poison type tentacle. Pretty cool. It actually looks giant as hell. That's a giant ass tentacle. It looks <laughs> that the tree line right there? What the hell? It's pretty cool. We got a Nidoran, a female Nidoran. Pretty cool. We got a Tynamo. Tynamo's cool. Electros is cool. Look at that art. Whoa. It's pretty cool artwork, actually. I like that artwork. Really, really shiny artwork. I like that. I like that artwork too. The Chin Chu. Look at you. That's really cool artwork. Got a, got a horsey. Pretty cool. 
What goes with all these water types getting cool artwork? Or, kind of wasn't really a water type, but it lives in the water, you know what I mean. It's an aquatic Pokemon. Ooh, we got a Dewblade. That's, re that's a really cool Dewblade. That's good. Good, good, good. Got a Repeat Ball. I think this is the first Repeat Ball I've ever gotten. Got a Silent Lab. Huh. Ooh, whoa, what is this thing? It's a, it's a re Reverse Hollow, like, Alpha Omega Swampert. Look at that thing. That's pretty crazy looking. 